I can't believe how long it took for me to find this setting in Lightburn. When it comes to engraving, we know that speed is key and we don't want to be wasting any sort of time, especially when we're trying to make money or we're trying to meet a deadline. This one setting can save you like 10 times the amount of time and it's this setting under uh, the cuts and layers window in this uh, drop down menu. So we've got fill, line and offset fill. Offset fill is the setting that I want to be looking over with you guys today. To show you the benefits of what this can do, I'm just going to draw out a square. We're in uh, fill mode in the cuts and layers tab. We're going to come across to the preview window. And what this is going to show us is how the laser is interacting with our project. So if we wind this all the way back and we hit play, you can see this cursor is moving from left to right or right to left. And it's going to keep doing this until the whole square is filled. And this is typically how most laser projects are going to be engraved. So we can see here that the total time estimated is 13 minutes and 15 seconds. So if we go across to the cuts and layers window and we select offset fill and then we select the preview window again, we're going to see that it's not going to really benefit us time wise. We can see that there's no uh, red border around the outside so it's operating in a different way which I'll show you in a second. But I want to show you where offset fill really comes into its own and that's when you create a border or if you have like a floral pattern uh, that you've got in a picture frame it's going to be another example that I'm going to show you uh, shortly but if we just put a offset on this square so we now have a border this is where this setting comes into its own so I've just put it back to fill so I'm just gonna group these together we're gonna go across to the uh, preview window again and now we can see that it's slightly different but the engraver is still working in the same way when it comes to filling in this border it's working from left to right or right to left and although it's doing fine here as soon as it comes up to these two points it's now only filling in this small proportion of the engraved this side then it's turning itself off as it travels across and then it's filling in this part and then as it slows down it's then going to come back and it's going to engrave this little bit and then it's going to do absolutely nothing again and then it's going to engrave this side so it's still going to take us 13 minutes and 15 seconds to complete this whole project okay so where offset fill comes into its own is if we go to the cuts and layers window again and select offset fill and then we go to the preview uh, menu we're going to see that there isn't any red lines around the outside or on the inside of this box so we just have the border that's been engraved and now you can see the significant difference in time so we're now looking at 2 minutes 25 to finish this specific border okay instead of the 13 minutes and what it was last time so if if I take you straight back to the uh, start of it again we're gonna see that the offset fill works in a different way so it comes across uh, to the edge of the border and it's gonna go into a circular pattern until the rest of the shape is filled so the laser is continuously on there's no wasted time in passing over uh, the entire uh, project so it's literally just going to continue going round and round and round uh, until it's filled and the the time in which it saves is significant like i can't tell you like when you have batch products to do or you have a deadline that you have to meet offset fill is key so the only thing that I can suggest is if you have any projects in mind where you have borders or you have uh, text within uh, an offset parameter, then try offset fill. You'll, it might not make much difference in some scenarios, but borders specifically for me, for the projects that I have had to produce for people in the past, I do a lot of leaving gifts for uh, military personnel and what I get requested for quite a lot is uh, table names so if they've been on station for a certain amount of years and then they're getting posted people like to get given 
like table names with their rank, uh, their name, and how long they've been there for. Uh, and that has a border around the outside. I have saved so much time with this offset fill setting in Lightburn. It was taking me like half an hour to do uh, one of these and if several people were leaving from the same section it would take like nearly a day to get all of these products out whereas it's drastically decreased the amount of time that it's taken me to output these uh, products uh, specifically these products but just to go to a different scenario if we're to bring in an image of a picture frame just for argument's sake um, because I know these get highly requested for uh, people that do production items if there's Christmas gifts or uh, birthday presents uh, it's gonna be the same sort of scenario so these two blue lines are gonna imitate the border of our picture frame so if we were to go across to the uh, blue layer and had it just on fill we're going to see if if we come across to the uh, preview window we're gonna see that it's gonna work from left to right how it was before and it's taking roughly 23 minutes okay so if we change that in the cuts and layers tab if we go to the drop down menu and uh, click offset fill instead and then go to the preview window we're gonna see a drastic change from 23 minutes down to 12. I mean it's literally half the time so I can't stress how important that it is to just check to make sure that if you are engraving something that has a potential waste of space in between where your laser is going to be passing try different scenarios when it comes to fill an offset fill because it may speed up your production time if this video has helped you in any way please just take a second to hit that like button it doesn't cost anything it really helps my channel out and hopefully if it's helped you out it'll be able to help other people as well if you want advice in any other things any other tutorials or if you're trying to make money with laser engravers maybe you're trying to start up a small business maybe you already have a laser business and you're struggling with ideas of what to make in my future videos I'm gonna be putting together a series of what products sell and sell well when it comes to woodworking and laser related products so if it seems like that's something that you're interested in consider clicking the subscribe button you'll be notified when that video has been published so thank you very much for your time I really hope that this has helped uh, like I said like the video it may help somebody else